Okay, let's talk about uh, this uh, simple idea of probing a circuit. So here's the circuit. I have a power coming in and I have a, a scope probe coming in. So I want to bring my scope probe in and I'm going to, I'm going to grab a uh, pin underneath there. And uh, I've got ground. There's a little pin underneath here. So I've got, I've got ground on that. And we can take a look and we have a uh, wiggly. And I go, okay, fine. 80. 1.92 megahertz. Okay, great. Um, so I wanted to make sure that uh, a ground modification that I did was okay. I put a uh, I put a grabby on this lead, so I have the regular alligator, and I've got my gravy. I'm going to test these, make sure that they don't uh, they don't do anything bad. So I'm going to I'm going to take this one here, okay, and I'm going to hit ref and save. And now when I disconnect the ground, you can see it, it saved one of the, uh, one of the traces. Okay. So I'm going to put my grabby, uh, on the probe, I mean on the circuit and we'll come up and we can see that the having an alligator clip or having a micro grabber, I'm getting the exact same ground. Okay. So, uh, that's one thing. Um, you might want to put a grabby on it cause I find it. I find it a lot more convenient that these than these uh, than these little alligator clips. So um, obviously, I got two of them on here. Now, why don't I hook them both up? Then I'll have a lower impedance to ground, right? So let's do that. Here's the uh, here's the signal. Let me hook up both grounds, and oh, looks everything looks fine. Yeah, everything looks fine. All right. So uh, I'm gonna disconnect this. That's with no grounds at all. That's a bad thing. All right. So what I want to talk about is the little bag that came with your scope. Remember this little bag it's got little pretty little rings in it and stuff and little adjustment tool and stuff. Uh, you can have uh, different colors on your scope pro, put different colored rings on there, depending on if you have it on channel one, two, one, two, three or four, they're all color coded. So nice to have your yellow probe on your yellow one and the blue probe on the blue one, blah, 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 right? So I did that. I've got a yellow band on this probe and I got a blue band on the other probe for channel two. Great. But then there's this other funny thing in the bag. Let's get him out. It's a spring. There you go. What the heck's that spring for? Let me, uh, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that. Oops, I'm caught on the camera here. Um, yeah, you can see that this funny little spring here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scope probe. Okay. We're going to pull the tip off. Okay. And we have this little thing and this little spring hooks on, you just wind it on clockwise. And, and now you've got this little spring and it's contacting the little metal, metal, metal band that used to be there. Now that's your new grounding. Okay. You can use that as ground. You can use this as the input, right? So your ground's going to be very, very, very short. Right? So in this particular case, we're going to, uh, wound up over here. I'm going to put my ground. Uh, it's always in the way. All right. I'm going to put my little ground on the nearest ground. So the signal is right here, but there's a, a via, a ground via right here. So I'm going to put my ground on that via. And then I'm going to probe right here. Okay. And without moving anything right there, now without moving anything. Wow. Look at that. Let's go ahead and capture that. So I don't have to sit here all day. There we go. <laughs> um, you can see that it's much, 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 much better. This is a, um, a 74 AC 04, uh, chip. And we're looking at the output of, of an inverter and it should be a nice square wave. It should be a very, very fast square wave. The rise times on this part should be on the order of uh, a 10 nanoseconds or something like that. So it should be quite a fast part. And so actually we can zoom in here. Uh, this is one nanosecond per division. So yeah, this is a very, very fast edge, right? It's, it's, it's about it it's about a nanosecond almost. Um, so yeah, very, very fast part. So, um, what shall we do then? <laughs> uh, the moral of the story is you got to keep your ground super, super, super short when you're working at high frequency, Now, low frequencies, you know, megahertz and stuff. That's fine. Right. But we're operating at 81 megahertz. 
and our edges are going to be up at 100 megahertz, right? Or 500 megahertz. They're going to be they're going to be very very fast, right? We have we have uh, you know two yeah, almost one second in rise times, right? So very very have to have very very careful probing. And that's what that little oops, that's what that little spring is for, right? So don't lose that. Don't lose that little spring because they charge a ton of money to get replacement little springs. I think like $15 or something for the stupid little springs if you have to go buy one. Um, so anyway, yep, use your springs when you're doing high frequency. And um, in the old days, I think uh, I think this was particular to uh, to uh, Tektronix. They had they had this cool probe, right? You had the little clip-on grabby one, and then you had uh, you had this tip. So you had a regular scope probe, but then you put this tip on it, and it made contact to this metal ring, and brought it out on this little, uh, out of the way, this little focus. Uh, so it came out here on this little guy, and this little guy you can you can you can push in, so you can change the spacing between these two so to match whatever ground you have. So I kind of like this old design. Um, it's pretty cool, but I haven't seen any new ones designed this way. So you have to you have to use that little spring now.